Yes. And uh, if you are spending time out in the wild today, it is going to be a beautiful afternoon across Colorado. A little more cloud coverage, but you can see out to our west near Glenwood Springs, near the Wave Park, we'll stay under a mostly clear sky for the first half of the day. Some more clouds over the Denver Metro this morning. You can see a live look from City Park. Temperature-wise, though, feeling pretty nice outside currently. We're in the low to upper 60s, so if you're out and about, maybe getting in that morning run or bike ride earlier, the better. We'll be warm once again this afternoon. Southwest winds sustained from the uh, around 7 miles per hour out of the airport. It'll pick up a bit, but it won't be quite as windy as yesterday. 68 degrees in Broomfield right now. Low 60s. Aurora, Parker down through Castle Rock, up into Greeley, and up into the mountains from Steamboat into Eagle, mid to upper 40s, currently under a mostly clear sky. We'll see an increase of cloud coverage this Father's Day across the metro area with temperatures near seasonal normals a couple degrees warmer than yesterday. 84 by 1 o'clock under a mostly cloudy sky. We'll stay mainly cloudy through the late afternoon and early evening hours with about a 10 to 20% chance of seeing an isolated storm filter in. High temperatures are expected to be in the mid 80s, Highlands Ranch, downtown Denver, low 80s in Boulder, out through Bennett, 60s and 70s into a lot of our mountain towns where we do have the chance for a few scattered showers and storms later on this afternoon. So keep that in mind if you're going for a bike ride, hiking, maybe a motorcycle rider just to drive in the mountains. Uh, we do have that possibility of seeing a few of those scattered storms, which is typical for this time of the year. But good news, no risk of severe weather is expected. If you're barbecuing later on this afternoon, should be a nice one for partly cloudy skies by 4. 10% chance around 6 o'clock of seeing that storm, but mainly it'll be north near Fort Collins, Greeley, and over the far northeastern plains. Little rainfall expected with these cells. Pretty dry day today, but gusty winds and lightning will be the main threats with any cells that do form. You can see from our statewide or front range future cast, rather, by 930 this morning, still feeling really nice up and down the I-25 corridor in the mid-70s. We'll be in the low 80s with more cloud coverage right around 2:30. You can see indicated here by the shades of green popping up. Could see that scattered shower or storm out to Aurora up near Greeley, New Raymer and Sterling through the late afternoon. Won't amount to much. It'll clear out really quickly. Hopefully it won't interrupt any plans you have outside and then late tonight into early tomorrow morning. We'll clear back out with a better chance for seeing more widespread storm and shower activity up and down the I-25 corridor and for most of the front range in our foothills for tomorrow. Tonight though 59 degrees, very mild start to our morning. Temperatures once again will be in the low 80s to start the week and then it's going to heat up nicely as we get into the middle of it by Wednesday back to 90 degrees some hot weather returns through the end of the week best chance for seeing moisture which we could absolutely use here in Colorado talking about drought conditions will be Monday and Friday but then hot and dry by next weekend.